Well, personally, um, how can people create new stories is quite a tough question because everybody does their stories a little bit different, but they are always those little plot points. Like, let's say, for example, what I really liked to read when I was young were some romance stories, yeah. And in those stories, it was, it always went like this. Before we move on, this video is brought to you by Purgatory Academy, a drama series about heaven, hell, and having four years to decide. Chimera Island, a slice of life series about a hidden island striving to find balance. Let's Go Metal Hero, a superhero series about two siblings who want to turn a robot into a, well, superhero. And Just a Reaper, an action comedy series about a young Grim Reaper trying to keep hell off Earth. Read these series for free with the pinned comment below and sign up to the newsletter to never miss an update. Back to the video. Interesting start with interesting premise that had two characters th th that just fell for each other somehow. And th the way they did that and the, the way they fell for each other was interesting. But once they be became a thing, a relationship, ship it always was like misunderstanding after misunderstanding or argument after argument or like uh they just split and then they came together and then they didn't talk to each other but if they did talk to each other it would be resolved like uh this is this is a thing i really did not like about this romance thing so i just stopped reading that uh with horror it's always like a, a character meets something scary and dies pretty much or that there's like this thing that's why i love really like uh, junji's ito work or, or manga in general because it seems to me that they can go like bonkers with it and they just i don't know the first brain fart that came to their head they just slap on a paper not junji ito junji ito in my opinion, is uh, it has it very thought through, but some of the mangas I've read or seen were really crazy, and I just couldn't predict them. Like for, for, uh, right now, I'm uh, reading Tokyo Revengers, and that is I just cannot predict that, so I'm like really happy about it. But s some mangas I read, I, ju I just predict. I'm like, yeah, this is going to go this way, and that's just annoying. <laughs> But how can people do that? It's just go bonkers. Don't 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 uh, hold yourself to like one thing that you see everywhere and quote unquote that's how a story should be written. No, just blow blow your mind off and come come up with something crazy because that's in my opinion the best thing. Why do you think people follow so many tropes? Uh, I, I think it's because they do well. Like, I made a romance kind of thing when I was young, like, uh, 16 or something. I, ma I made on tapas. It's still there. Um, I'm, I'm not remembering it fondly, to be honest, but it, yeah, it's still there. And I've gained... It, it was, uh, it was like some demon thing about like a uh, demon and angel kind of thing, really, really tropey stuff. And I've I've gained two thousand and eight hundred uh, subs there fr from that. And I, I I was literally just I don't know I I was literally just doing stuff. I I didn't really plan for it to like go anywhere. I was like, yeah, I wanted to learn how to make web comic. That wasn't a manga at first. It was a webcomic and I just did stuff and it just did well because it was just something that people were there to read or expected to read, which is just some really tropey thing. So I think that's why. It sounds like a lot of people have a lot of comfort when it comes to tropes in a way from the writer's perspective and the audience's perspective because it's something that's familiar to them and as creatures of habit as human beings when we see something happening happening again and again and again it uh enforces not enforce well yeah it enforces i guess that's a uh, a good word it enforces a sort of familiarity some sort of status quo and when something is something is too different from what we are used to or what we are uh, suspect 
that is a pretty that would be like a quick turn off to the large audience because people like want something new but at the same time they want something the same but it fed to them in a new way what do you think about that yeah i i think if uh, that, that i can i cannot think that depends on the audience if you're a teenager that let's be real most of webtoon tapas it's, it's hormonal teenagers you know and they want to see uh what they already know because what they already quote unquote know is kind of still new to them because they are teenagers they don't have the life experience they don't have the they, they didn't read that much stuff but I think once you grow older, you, you start to get bored, especially of those uh, things that are aimed for teenagers, like the those romances on tapas or webtoon. You, ju you just start to get bored of that because you, you just see it everywhere and then you start to look at something different. I, I don't know, it kind of depends on the person. Somebody likes the romance thing, somebody likes horrors. Somebody likes uh, mystery, uh, sci-fi, and stuff like that. But in that case, I think uh, those older people would look more, not not really on the webcomic sites, but more on the official publications, because those are, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to say they are different from each other, like uh, a lot of shonens are very similar. But you have much much more chance to find something unique than in popular webtoons, for example. So, wait, rephrase that one more time, so so I can uh, internalize. So I can internalize it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I I ended up rambling so much. Okay, uh, I I I just wanted to say that when you are at teenager when you are a young person you tend to read the same thing over and over again because it's it's served to you and you don't have the money to buy something better pretty much mm -hmm. like on the webtoons if you look at the a page that will welcome you when you when you just a home page yeah that's that's what it's called home page you you see all of these stories about uh villainesses or uh Th these kind of things that look like oh, yeah, yeah. one like yeah. the other you know yeah it's like oh there's a there's a prince and she's looking there's a princess and she's looking for a cool little prince and but she's well I, oh, but he's a twist she's really a cool princess and she doesn't but like the prince is kind of cooler and she wants him to yada 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 but then there's this whole back and forth but they all like love you but they both like love each other and whatnot um like things like uh, surface level premises that captures the a surface level audience intention. 